Welcome to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley and in today's video I'm going to share with you three ways to approach mixing house music. Now you can use any equipment for this tutorial because all we're using are EQs and some phrasing techniques. If you enjoy one of these techniques then please make sure to comment which was your favourite below at the end of the video. Also, make sure to check out our house mixing course at the end if you enjoy tips and tricks like this where there are over 60 more lessons just like this one. One of the most common techniques used by house DJs is the seamless blend. So I've got two tracks here. Now these two tracks, I must note, work in key with one another and that's one of the first things to check is do they work in key. We've got loads of information about mixing in key in our courses. Now, these two tracks are both at 127 BPM to start with. And what we're going to do is a very seamless blend. So I'm going to go towards the outro of one track and use the intro of another. And then I'm going to use the EQs in a certain way to create this seamless transition. So let's bring this fader down, put my headphones on, and then we're going to catch the drop. Four, three, two, one, and play. We're going to get on time. And then to prepare the EQs, what we're going to do is take the low end fully out, we're going to bring the mid down slightly and even the high down slightly. And then we're going to just start fading the fader in. Once the fader's in, we're going to work from the top down and slowly start swapping the highs. And we're going to do this across a phrase, so we might do it, or even across a few bars. So let's say we've dedicated four bars to that transition, and then we're going to dedicate another four bars to that blend. And then we might use a whole phrase of maybe eight bars or even 16 bars to slowly move the low ends over as well. And we made the transition for that next phrase change. And then we just fade and blend that fade around. And you can see we've mirrored the EQs at this position. So we've kind of finished how we started, but on the opposite side. And we blend it out. If you want to learn more about what phrasing is, then check out our beginner courses for all different platforms from Rekordbox to Serato to Denon to Tractor and more. Now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to mix these two tracks at the same place but we're going to do something different with the EQs. Rather than fade them, we're going to do a quick swap of the EQs and we're going to use those phrase changes to mask that we're bringing new elements of the song in. So as we take away another element, we're going to replace it with one on the new track. So let's have a listen to how that would sound. Let's go again to here, catch the phrase, four, three, two, one and play. Make sure your timing's on in the headphones and then we're going to prepare the EQs exactly the same. And then when the phrase changes, I'm going to slam the fader in. Four, three, two, and in. Then we're going to do this on a bar as well. Four, three, two, one, and swap. And then we're going to swap the lows here because we've got a bass line coming in and swap. So we're doing it very much on the phrase change and it's a clean swap of the two elements, the two EQs. Next phrase change, let's do those mids. Four, three, two, and. And then bringing the fader out, we're gonna do exactly the same. It's just a sh sharp removal of the track. So what's the difference between those two? Well, by doing the clean swaps of the EQs, we're just layering a new element in, rather than it just slowly fading in in the background. If you've got a nice groovy bass line, for example, you can slam that in and it might create a bit more energy in your set. It might uplift the set slightly. You can obviously use these in tandem. So you could do some mixes more in the seamless way with the blended EQs and some mixes with the clean swaps of the EQs. <laughs> For this last technique, we're moving away from using just the intro and the outro, and we're going to start layering two tracks on top of each other. It's important that they work in key with one another, so this sounds good. So, there's a bit of preparation that goes into this beyond just waiting for the outro and pressing play. So what I've done is I've set up a hot cue, which is a point I can jump to and play from. Don't, don't, don't. 
on this vocal breakdown. And you'll see it's the phrase change where the breakdown happens. There. So we've got that vocal breakdown. And what I want to do is layer the vocal over some of the instrumental on the opposite side. Now, halfway through this main section, we're going to do it much earlier in the song if we want to do a quicker mix. You could do this later in the song as well, it doesn't matter, but I quite like it here, where you've got this nice big bass line that drops in halfway through this main section. So what I mean by halfway through is from here to this next breakdown, the halfway point, the phrasing should line up so that if I play both of these at the same time, they both end up swapping at the same time as well. So let's have a listen to how this sounds. We've got to be tight with the timing here because I'm going to just have the fader already up and I'm going to bring the low end down but leave the rest of the EQs because I want the vocal to be sat there on top. Now when I press play, I'm just gonna knock the mid EQ down on the opposite side. I'm doing this because I want to remove some of those middle frequencies where the vocals sit in the music. So let's have a listen. Getting ready. In four, three, two, and. So we're layering the tracks together at this moment. Now when the phrase changes, all I'm gonna do is swap the low ends over and we'll get this nice impact of the bass line on the right hand side. And then we'll get a new vocal back in on the left hand side. So we're just leaving them running together. Let's go for the quick swap. In four, three, two, and. And then I'm just going to fade it down a little bit so it's more in the background. And then we can just fade the mix away to complete it. But we're keeping that energy level there because we haven't used intro to outro and ended up in a breakdown. We've kept the pace of the music going. And fade totally away. And there we go. So there are three approaches to mixing the same two tracks and you get different outcomes each time. So it depends on the set you're playing, it depends on the crowd that you're playing to. I could play these two tra tracks and create more energy by applying a different type of transition. Or I could be in more of a warm up set and want a longer blended transition. Now you can see how this works in a step by step way. We can start with the basics and then change it slightly and then add some more layers to it. This is how we structure our house mixing course. We've got over 60 video lessons which work in this chronological step-by-step -step way where you learn a few different techniques and then start combining them together before learning some more and adding them on top. If you want to check out the course, please make sure to click the link and also remember to comment below which one of these three were your favorite mixing technique or which one you didn't know before that you're going to start applying in your sets. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial very soon.